I am so excited to announce that some of the baby tortoises have started to hatch here at the house. One. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at this little guy. This yolk sac should be absorbed in about a day or two. And this little guy is probably going to be in the egg for about another day or two. And peel it, and then we're just going to pull him out, and you can see. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now before we hop into today's video, I know all of you have been waiting and asking for the name for the little baby duck. Now we are going to be announcing that name in the very next video, but for today's video I am so excited to announce that some of the baby tortoises have started to hatch here at the house. We actually have them out of the incubator already. I'm going to show you guys the entire process right now. You guys are never going to believe what I just found. I came in here to the incubator room and I saw there was an egg cracked and I opened up this tub and well, I'm just so ecstatic right now. You've got to see this. Look at this right here. We're going to open this up in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We have a little baby redfoot tortoise that is just starting to hatch here at the house. I mean, just take a look at this cute little guy. And then we have an African spur thigh sulcata tortoise. Now this little tortoise has totally come out of his egg. This right here was his egg right here and he's just totally come out of that egg just now. Let's kind of put that aside right there. Whoa, what is this little clumsy guy doing right here? This little guy looks like he's turned a little bit upside down. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, that's where his nose is. This little guy is not ready to come out of the egg just yet. He's still hanging out in there. We're just going to put him back. But this little guy is active. Whoa, where are you going, little dude? Yo, 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 you got to come right there. And let's take a look at this little cutie because I'm sure he still has his yolk sac. And he's just, whoa, whoa you're a feisty little guy. <gasps> look at this little guy. We have a tiny little baby tortoise that just hatched here at the house. But if you look down here, he's just about absorbed most of his yolk sac he still has got a little bit more to go. We're going to have to clean that little perlite off because we don't want it to rupture by any means. But just look at him. This little guy is just an absolute little gem of a tortoise. And probably about 5 to 10 years. This tortoise right here could be up to 200 plus pounds when he is full grown. And my favorite thing about little tortoises is their feet. Look at his little foot there and look right there. Let's take a look at how tiny this little red foot tortoise is. I mean, literally the size of about a quarter. And he's just so, so cute. Now this is one of the coolest pet tortoises you can have. I have probably about 13 of them. And getting to hatch these little guys out is so much fun. I mean, just look at how tiny he is. Now this guy is probably gonna be in the incubator for another day or so. This guy as well, you can see, he's just really starting to make his way out. He's probably got another day, but this little guy, we're gonna have to get this little guy out of here right away because of his little yolk sac. This yolk sac should be absorbed in about a day or two, and that's going to provide him with all of his food for the next four to five days. After those four or five days, this little guy is going to be ready to start eating greens. Now, this is the third largest tortoise in the world. The first largest is the Galapagos, and then the second largest is the Aldabra, and then comes this guy, the African spur thigh tortoise from Africa. I mean, who doesn't love a little baby tortoise just like this? So what we're going to have to do now with this little guy, he can no longer stay in here because we don't want any of that perlite, which is that white media right there, to possibly rupture his yolk sac. So what we're going to have to do with this little guy right here is we're going to have to get him set up on a nice moist paper towel because, I mean, he is still very tiny and if we leave him in the media, we don't want his little yolk sac to possibly get ruptured. We do not want that to happen at all. So let's Let's go to the garage and get him set up. I'm here in the garage now and I have a nice bin right here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this paper towel and I'm going to moisten it. Because that tortoise has not yet absorbed his yolk sac, we don't want anything to possibly stick to it and rupture it. So by keeping it nice and moist over the next probably about... I don't know, 16 to 18 hours, this little tortoise will actually be able to absorb that yolk sac. So you can see that it's nice and damp now. It's nice and moist. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this little guy since he's totally emerged from the egg. And you can see that the perlite, we have just a little bit stuck there. We're just going to slowly just kind of peel that off. And I'm going to actually put the camera down for a second so I can actually pull the rest of that off. One minute, 37 seconds later. Would you look at that? The perlite is off and this guy is nice and clean and he's ready to go. So we're just going to kind of just place him on here. Now he's going to be pretty wobbly because he's got that large bump on the bottom of him. He's going to 
gonna be pretty wobbly until he absorbs that little yolk sac. It really is just crazy to think that these little tortoises fit in this egg. I mean, you can see just how small this egg is and the tortoise just fits so perfectly in it while he develops into a tiny little baby. I've got the tortoise in the bin. The eggs are back in the incubator. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this little guy out here in the garage where it's nice and warm so he can wait to be reunited with his siblings once they're out of their eggs. I decided to put this little tortoise right here next to like the hot spot in my Lewis Eye hybrid cage so that way he can get some of that ambient heat that's on the glass because this glass is warm so he can come here and get nice and warm and then he can come over here to the cool side. And now that I got that one little sulcata set up, I will be back with all of you once the other tortoises are ready to come out of the incubator two days later good morning good morning my beautiful people i'm on my way to the incubator room because we need to see if there's more tortoises that have hatched i'm almost certain that more tortoises have hatched wow this lighting in here makes me look a little blue now before we actually open the incubator up and look at that i can already see that there's a little tortoise right there walking around before we open it up we got to check out this little guy this is the little tortoise from yesterday let's check his yolk sac out look at that his yolk sac's doing well it looks like it's healing it's not near as big you're doing good, buddy. Here you go. And now it's time to open it up. We got to get these tortoises out. So we have other eggs that are actually cooking here in the incubator. These are some turtle eggs. These are not going to hatch for probably another couple of weeks. But now in here we have the tortoises. And well, oh yeah, that guy's, they're walking around. They're, they're active little guys. So let's just put this tub right on back inside of here. There we go. All right, we locked the incubator up because we might be here for some time and we don't want any of that air that's inside there to escape. We don't want the temperatures to drop. If the temperatures inside the incubator drop, then the eggs in there could possibly die because you don't want drastic temperature changes. But let's actually open this up right here and take a look. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy, look at him. These guys are so cute. Do right, you need some assistance, buddy? You look like you're having some difficulty here. So this looks, Let's pull this off. We don't want it to get too stuck. And yeah, look at that. Wow, his yolk sac is, that's pretty big right there. That's a big yolk sac. Um, this guy's just emerging from the egg yesterday. He was still in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna like leave him inside of the incubator. I'm just gonna kind of put him on this egg because well, he's doing all right in there and I really don't want him to be active because his yolk sac is still quite large. This is where he's going to go. There you go, buddy. And now this is the red foot. Oh my gosh, look at this. This right here, this nasty sludge is actually from the egg. Now this is just basically some, basically like the inside part of his yolk, just, just kind of little yellow stuff. So now that we got the two sulcatas inside of here on the moist paper towel, I decided to take the other one off the moss, but you can see that both of the yolk sacs are actually healing quite well. Now this one is a little discolored because of the moss, but he'll be just all right. But now we're gonna have to assist this red foot. This red foot was the first one to actually start pipping, the first one to start coming out of the egg. And well, he's having a little trouble cracking it, and he's been in here for about a day and a half, and his yolk sac is pretty much, you know, entirely absorbed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna just kinda just peel it from the bottom, just like this. You can see that there's some of that yolk right there, but we're just gonna kinda just peel it just ever so slightly. And then we're just gonna pull him out. And you can see that his yolk sac, since he was the first one to start pipping, his yolk sac is actually one of the first ones to actually absorb. Now the bottom of his shell is still pretty soft, but he'll be just all right. But take a look at this. The new baby red foot has just emerged from the egg. And just look. He is so incredibly tiny and cute. I mean, just look at the difference between the Sulcata baby and the Redfoot baby. I mean, the Redfoot is just so much smaller than the Sulcata baby, but the Sulcata is the third largest tortoise, whereas these are get about, you know, anywhere from about 12 to 14 inches when full grown. So now we're gonna actually just place all of these little guys together, and we're just gonna keep them here for a few days, but it's so incredibly awesome to actually be able to hatch these animals out. But that is not it for today. There's another box of sulcata eggs up on the top and I can almost guarantee that some of the babies are starting to emerge so we're going to open that up right now we're going to take a look now these other eggs still have a little bit of cooking to do so we actually have to put these back in the incubator but I would say in the next week or so they should start to hatch so we've got this nice bin right here now we got to open this up all right, we've got the other sulcata eggs right here. We're going to place them here. Not all of them have hatched yet, but take a look at this. This little guy right here is just starting to emerge from the egg. So you can see that there's just one little tiny sulcata foot right there. Look at him. We'll just peel that a little bit. Oh, he didn't really like that. And we'll just peel that right there. Now, he still has 
I'm sure a fairly large yolk sac, but we're just gonna peel that just so he can get a little more air, just so he can breathe. But I can see his yolk sac is still quite large. Now, how crazy is it that these little tortoises fit in an egg just like that? It's really hard to even wrap your mind around a tortoise fitting in the egg that really just looks smaller than his actual shell. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave this guy in here. He's got a couple more days to go inside of the incubator. We're gonna leave him just like that. And what's really cool is actually when this guy starts to hatch, the crumbling of the egg and the movement actually a lot of times can get these other tortoises to start hatching. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching. If you guys have not already and you enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up and make sure to stop what you're doing and go comment down below a name for the little baby tortoises. I want a name for the red foot tortoise and the two sulcata tortoises. So stop what you're doing, go comment down below that name. And if it is your first time on the channel and you enjoy the content and you are not subscribed already, well, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, it is the first link down below.